The concept of alcohol proof is actually hundreds of years old. We've seen this before. You're in a bar. You're surrounded by enemies. The only thing you have within arm's reach is a lighter and booze. So how realistic are these movie tropes? Can you grab, you know, just any bottle of alcohol and do this amazing fireball out of your face? Wow. We're gonna go through a variety of different proofs and put to the test that historical proving method with pew pew powder and booze. Do cool stuff. No, don't, don't, don't try this at home. Don't I take it back. Do don't do this any home, of this. But also, like, if I can do it, you can do it. No, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Howdy, guys. Hey, hey how you doing, Brian? <laughs> uh, nervous. Yeah. Every pro out there uses two different fuels: one yeah. for the fire blast, one for fire eating. If mm -hmm. you're doing the fire eating, you're using Coleman Camp Fuel or white gas, which has a flashpoint. And a little bit of science here. Flashpoint is how cold yeah. the liquid can be and still have vapors that will ignite. And keep in mind, when you do the fire blast, it's the vapors that are exploding. You could do the safest version of the fire blast, okay. and I'll teach it to you guys. Uh, okay. okay, so there's a safe version of it, because look, she's all, so nervous. It's cornstarch, <laughs> because you're not actually creating a vapor, okay. you're creating a dust fire. You do look like what? you've done a massive amount of cocaine by the time you're done, okay. though. <laughs> 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 what have I done with my life? So uh, always practice with water first. So let's say we want to take out our target. So Scotty Boners. Scotty Boners. Yeah. Okay. We want to put just a little bit in and do a heavy puff of breath over it that makes it like the perfect mist. Like. Ooh. That was very cloudy. That was right? very misty. A lot of mist. Right. Here you go. Here you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That was good. Double dragons we just did. Pretty right? good, yeah. So Brian, we have cornstarch. Yes. What is it about cornstarch that's going to be a suitable, you know, analog for just misting booze? Well, there's a, a, a phenomenon called a silo fire that is extremely deadly. Oh, I do know this. Yeah, yeah. yeah go ahead. So basically, you have enough dust just hanging around in the air yeah. that the smallest spark can create a chain reaction that uh, that eventually makes the entire thing into a bomb. I do not want we're to put that be, in my mouth. We're just going to be covered in white powder. Yeah. We'll have a lot to explain to the cops. Wow. <laughs> How, oh, my, oh, oh my god. God, this is. Oh, you're just go. He's oh really my god. just pounding that powder. <laughs> yeah, it looks great, Brian. Right? <laughs> yeah, oh, that you got to make oh. sure you do with your nose. Oh. You breathe with your nose. Oh, let's see. She's following it. She's going to. What have I done with my life? Uh, Tricks on you, Brian. It was Coke. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> hmm? Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> oh, sorry, wow. excuse me. What are you? Oh! It works. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian, you're up. <laughs> that was actually a really good cloud. That was, that was, that's a good cloud. Ah! That's a fine cloud. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> There's no good way to do this. Nope. Nope. Do you, you want to go straight to the fire? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that burned my hand. That was good. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! That was awesome. awesome. Damn. <laughs> She's vomiting cocaine. I Starting now, we're using the real tools yes. of pros. Okay. I'm gonna do charcoal lighter fluid first. I'm gonna kneel down and tilt up because fire is gonna want to go up. Yeah. We should have enough. I should. <laughs> That's what you like to hear. Once this is in my mouth, I I have a limited amount of time. Mm -hmm. I must not breathe through that because that's how you get chemical so pneumonia. So don't breathe. Oh my god. Ah. Oh, that what? was so big and hot, Dude. man. Dude. Bigger the, difference, right? Wow. Holy sh. A totally different level of flame. You're gonna want to wet down your beard first. Yeah. Not a lot. Okay, make sure you wipe down. Mm -hmm. Wow! Oh yeah, oh nicely yeah. done. Awesome. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Not that hey, dude. All right. Hell yeah. Well, uh, Brianna, you, 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 you. I'm not f-ing doing that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all, right. all right. So let's play with the entire purpose of this episode: getting alcohol and seeing at what proofs you can start to get fire blasts. Yeah. 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 Now keep in mind, uh, there's going to be environmental issues. We're in a very controlled environment mm-hmm. here. We have a high ceiling. We have a lot of fire equipment around. Yep. Oh, so yeah. let's see if we can get fireball with fireball. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put you in charge of the lighter to light the torch. Oh my god. No, no, you're not going to hold the, you're going to light the torch. <laughs> oh, okay. Then I don't have to do the light. <laughs> what, are you crazy? <laughs> All, right. All right. here we go. <laughs> <laughs> no! no. Nothing. All right, so Fireball is not going to give you Fireball. I'm already suspecting that a lot of these flare bartenders... They usually are very irresponsibly using like Bacardi 151 or something. Okay, Because like an Everclear type of deal? uh, Which which absolutely nobody should ever do. If it will burn as a liquid, then that means it'll go straight up to your face and your face will be on fire. Okay. You should be able to have a shot of it, take a match and drop it in and it'll go and nothing will happen. In fact, we could test it with the next one. What's the ABV on the next one? So the next one would be uh, 40% ABV, 80 proof. There we go. Okay, so you hold that. Yep. What we're hoping is that this goes out and doesn't burn. Yeah, just straight out. Great. <sighs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's move on to 100 proof. Okay. There we go. This is the moment. <sighs> oh, there that's pretty little, good. Little, there... <sighs> we go to one time. <laughs> <laughs> Was it just me? There's like a, just a moment. There was a oh, small yeah, yeah. one. Well, and keep in mind, it matters how atomized it is and, and how much the vapor is burning. Like like this right now has the Coleman white gas on it. Yeah. That's the vapors that's burning. Yeah. The moment this goes out, go ahead and feel it. It's it's just barely warm to the yeah, touch yeah. because it's the vapors, not the fuel that's burning. Got gotcha. It. We want to make sure that we don't get to a place where the fuel is able to burn. Okay. So you spend a third of your life sleeping or attempting to do so. This episode is brought to you by Helix Sleep. If you haven't heard by now, Helix is premium mattresses customized to fit your needs, conveniently shipped to your door. Getting good sleep just means that you have good energy and whenever you go into the day with good energy, it affects every single thing in every direction, always, forever, amen. This is your relationships, this is your job, this is your health. Like all of these things are made better whenever you get good rest. But so many of us are in mattresses that aren't a good fit for us. That's why Helix's sleep quiz, you're gonna dial in your preferences, basically your height, your age, a handful of questions. Are you a back sleeper, a side sleeper? To give you a recommendation that's going to be just right for you. And this mattress, whenever it comes, this is the best part. The mattress comes to your door. It's rolled up really tightly in a box, impossibly small. You look at the box and it's like, there's not a mattress in this box. There's been a horrible mistake. Oh no, there is a full on mattress in that box, my man. And it goes, Brianna does it better than me at this point. I'm just gonna go, funk. there you go. She does a good version, but whatever. It's fine. I don't even care, really. (laughs) So I've been sleeping on Helix for years now, and it's still kicking ass. I have multiple Helixes, like all of my family has Helix. Getting something that's just right for you, it needs to be right, right. You need to be getting that good night's sleep. A hundred night sleep trial, that is plenty of time for you to get yourself a Helix and figure out, is this the one you need? Is this the right one for you? So you can get that third of your life quality rest. They have flexible financing options and a 10 year warranty so that you know the quality is gonna be there. They have a solution that's going to be right for you. You're gonna go to helixsleep.com slash whiskey. You're gonna get 20% off your Helix mattress and two free pillows. What do you think the odds are on this one? This is. I think this one will work. Why? This is because we did a TikTok cocktails episode, right? Yeah. Part of the flare, the bartending flare, was lighting some and some of the jiggers on fire. Yeah. Oh, sh- but we had a 110 proof vodka. Okay. And that worked. Fucking <laughs> balls. This is the moment Brian realized he fucked up. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> All right, so now we're going to what? 120. Uh, okay. Okay. Am I doing this? Or are you doing this? I think maybe. I, I feel. I feel safe given the results I saw. Yeah. I, I feel so safe. So my with technique your is reasonable. Yeah. Okay. As All long right. as you make sure that, that you that you wet beforehand and you no, be ready to put yourself out. Okay. Yeah! Nice. Crossfire! 
That was good. That was, that was good. You got him right in the nuts. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scotty Boner. So the movie trope at 60% ABV, which is a proof you can get off of a shelf if it's cash strength. It's right. 120 proof. Let's do this. Let's see if 120 is still enough water that a match would go out in it. Okay, so what we're hoping is we, we saw it go when it was atomized. Yeah. And we're hoping uh -huh. that the one match goes right out. Boom. It's pretty good. Dude. I would be comfortable doing yeah. one more proof. Okay. Going up to 130. Okay. How you doing? Good. You want to try? I don't know. I think, I think you can do it. I couldn't get the form right, though. But this is how you learn. All right. <laughs> All right. Let me try it. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Ah. Almost. Sort of. All right, real quick, one more. One more. Oh. That's so good. Let's keep going, Brian. God, I could go one more. This is 150? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm feeling like 150 is going to be our hard max. Whoa! Oh, oh, yeah. That was straight Hollywood fire, man. Oh, yeah. That was, that was it. That I got the whole be in a bar fight and do that. I kind of want to just light him on fire a lot now. I probably could. I don't. I don't know why. Let him have it. Yeah. He's being so mean. Oh, you He's get his, his ribs. It. His ribs lit up there a little. There we go. <laughs> there <you> go. <laughs> Ready? Me. What are we doing? Oh shit. What's that smell like? Fireworks? Fireworks. You've been around Pew Pew Powder so much. And also, uh, it's YouTube. They don't like certain words. So from now on, we're going to call pew it... Pew Pew Powder. Pew Pew Powder. So, uh, we're going to test that, that very, very old uh, proof. Can you do it again? Yes. Oh, that's bigger. Wow! <laughs> So what I wanted to do is basically go back to the old school way of proving that your alcohol was legit. Okay. That's where the term proof comes from. Okay. So this dates back to the 18th century when the British Royal Navy, that's how they tested whether or not the alcohol was real. They would douse powder with rum, and if you could still light the powder, the pew pew powder, then you knew that, okay, this is the reason. Oh. That's, they were proving, they were proving that the alcohol was real. That's where the term proof comes from. Oh my God. Yeah, so. It's proof. It's proof. So what's interesting. Dude. <laughs> Dude, that's so sick. Let's start with a low proof. So we're gonna put the, the pew pew powder in and then we're gonna put the alcoholic beverage in. All right, so this is 100 proof. This should be just a faint little you know, blue flame. Uh, do you want to do it? Sure. Okay. All right, let go. Got it. It's, I can see it. Okay. So that's at 100 proof, but now we want to see, is that just going to burn all the way down or are we going to get to a point where it reaches the pew pew powder and we get some action? Pop! <laughs> I was going to jump to 120 proof. Gee, it's got to be soak soaked. All right, that's good. There. Completely covered the pew. This is 120 proof. There we go. Oh, you hear the crackling? Oh, yeah. Check out that flame. It's, it's reacting. It looks like a jet engine, like a mm -hmm. cone. That soaked pew pew powder isn't being washed out with mm -hmm. a liquid that's too low of a proof to let it react. Right. This is the reaction. So back in the day, if the wet powder still ignited, right. it was proof that the alcohol was at least 57% ABV. So in the fire blast thing we were just doing, like yes. the, the movie trope, is there anything that's likely gonna be behind the bar mm. that you can grab and then it's gonna give you a really satisfying fireball to fend off the baddies? Yeah. The moment where it started to get consistent, large, it was 60% ABV. Back in the day, they knew it was gonna like ignite with you know, pew pew powder at 57%, like basically really close to the same ABV. Mm -hmm. And in the UK, that 57%, that was still considered 100 proof that there's mm. enough alcohol they to They were just do. rounding. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was sloppy. Based off of the gun. They don't know what they're doing. A pew pew pow. You know what, the imperial system, that's really where all of the logic happens. Yes. Damon! Oh, oh, champion of the, of the sun. sun! Did he oh. just, Did he, he left. <laughs> he left. His name is Brandon Day, and we all decided to start calling him Dayman. He hates it. Oh, so much. Dayman! Oh! oh.